Hello Commanders and welcome in a new tutorial video. Today we are going to speak about the new Elite Attack Aircraft and I'm going to give you all the informations you need about it. Today we started the game with India to test this uh, this unit. Of course I needed some time to release this uh, uh, tutorial about the new Elite unit as I needed to test it to try it out and uh, find out all the points of strength and weaknesses. This is the Eastern version of the Elite Attack Aircraft the Suhoi 25 frog foot. This unit is very strong against land armies. We are speaking about here the level 1 elite attack aircraft. The damage is 10 versus soft targets and versus armored uh, vehicles, but the damage versus aircrafts and other units is not that important. The hit points there are 25 and the speed is 10. Of course, in the level 1, the maximum unit limit is 10. They have the, their own attack bonus, of course. But the good thing about this elite attack aircraft is not that expensive. You only need 800 components and 750 electronics to make it. Another inconvenience about this unit is that it doesn't have uh, a radar. It doesn't have a radar. But a good thing that it can be aircraft carried. Yes, it can be aircraft carried. To unlock the level 1 uh, frog food, the elite attack aircraft, we need to pass through the level 1 research of the strike fighter or the air security fighter. But of course guys, if you are going to make the elite attack aircrafts, you are not going to need the strike fighters. We will need the air superiority fighters of course to defend our elite uh, strikers from other air superiority fighters of course or other strikers because of course this unit needs to be aerially protected against air superiority fighters with India today we are going to try the combo of the stealth air superiority fighter and the elite attack aircraft this combo is going to be useful very strong and I'm going to speak through all the details about it these are more informations about this elite attack aircraft as like I said it has its own attack bonus of course you know that uh, the veterans the generals they give bonuses for their units but this one has its own bonus okay the research of level 1 air superiority fighter is done the level 1 uh, elite attack aircraft is done and now I'm starting to spam these aircrafts of course the buildings it needs only level 2 airbase and level 1 arms industry no matter which level your elite attack aircrafts they are going to be upgraded you will only need a level 2 airbase and a level 1 arms industry this is another good thing about the elite attack aircrafts they are low budget strong strikers they are very good and believe me guys this is a game changer Okay, we are in day 17 and I am in the level 5 airbase and now I started the research of the stealth air superiority fighter. We have two stacks of elite attack aircrafts. Of course, in the level 1, we, the limit only is 10 units. We upgraded to level 2, of course. In order to upgrade to level 2, we will need to upgrade the air superiority fighters to level 4. So we can unlock the research of level 2 elite aircrafts. You can see here that we can unlock more and we can mobilize more elite attack aircrafts as soon as the level is level 2 and I am spamming more and more elite strikers of course. I'm going to make uh, more uh, uh, air superiority fighters until our stealth air superiority fighters they are going to be ready. These elite attack aircrafts they need to be always escorted with air superiority fighters and I will explain why. The most important thing and the first reason is the radar. As like I said, the elite attack aircrafts in front of you, they have a decent damage versus soft and um, uh, hard targets. The level 2 have 72 damage versus infantry, 72 damage versus tanks. But if you make 4 elite attack aircrafts and 1 air superiority fighter, you will have less damage versus hard targets and soft targets, but you will have more damage against helicopters and against other jets, of course. And the most important thing is the radar. When your stack is equipped with one air superiority fighter, you will have a radar detection against other helicopters, against other uh, strikers or air superiority fighters, and also on land, 
you will have a high signal, which detects, of course, the high signal units such as the tanks, the armored vehicles, uh, the support units, discluding the tout artilleries because they are considered as soft targets. This is another important thing, boys. For me, for now, I tried uh, a stack of five elite uh, uh, strikers and I tried a stack of four strikers and one air security fighter and I honestly prefer the um, stack of four uh, elite strikers and one air security fighter. For now, of course, because if you have uh, stealth air security fighters, things they are going to change. And also, if you have AWACS nearby, of course you have a big radar that shows everything to you, things they are going to change also. In that case, a stack of five elite attack aircrafts is going to be more lethal and stronger against land armies. So the stack, the variety of stack you manipulated, it's not me who is going to tell you what to make, five or four plus one or four plus or three plus two, it depends on the composition of your army. If you have AWACS, you do not need the air superiority fighter to show you the radar. If you have uh, stealth air superiority fighters, you will kill anything in your way without needing the air superiority fighters to defend your uh, elite strikers. You understand what I mean here? It depends on the compositions of armies in front of you. But do not worry, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, our elite attack aircraft with the air ace also i am going to show you with the air superiority fighters and i am going to show you with the stealth air superiority fighters like that you can compare which composition is suitable for you you can compare which one you want and which one you prefer in front of you here you see that afghanistan he had air superiority fighters grounded the good thing there that we caught everything of god we destroyed all of his armies and actually it was an easy task. We wiped out Afghanistan in no time, actually, with the help of our elite attack aircraft. Now we have the limit of the level two, 15. So in order to have 20 elite strikers, we need to upgrade our air superiority fighters to level six to be able to unlock the level three elite attack aircrafts. Here I'm going to show you the strength of the level 3 elite strikers. Look at this. This is in our game of chat where I uh, maxed up our elite strikers. This is a stack of uh, 4 uh, elite strikers and 1 air superiority fighter. And this is another one with 3 plus 1 air ace plus 1 air superiority fighter. You see there I made uh, different compositions so you can uh, read the differences between different stacks. The damage was decent. Here I am going to show you with uh, our game with India the composition, the combo of the stealth fighter wing and the attack helicopters and also the elite strikers. We met with a strong army that uh, belongs to South uh, Africa. He has frigates. Well, the good thing here, we dealt with his frigates with our attack uh, helicopters and now I'm going to launch this strike on top of his frigates, on top of his land armies, and near his air superiority fighters. I'm going to show you the casualties, boys. This is his uh, stack of frigates. It has been heavily damaged. You can see that we killed all of his air superiority fighters with the help of our level 6 air superiority fighters and also the stealth air superiority fighters that had the task to eliminate all of his fighters it was very important to possess the stealth air superiority fighters because they have a strong, strong damage against other strikers or air superiority fighters and especially against other helicopters. Here, the elite strikers, they, they are used against land armies. The stealth air superiority fighters, they are used against other air forces. The attack helicopters, they are used against mobile sun launchers. Thank you boys for watching today's tutorial we meet in other one. If you have any questions, I will be happy to read them in the comment section. See you boys and bye bye.